This tutorial video is going to show you how to log on to the Evolve website for Allen College. Um, this Evolve website is an online course software and it is actually uh, provided by our book publisher Elsevier. To get to their website, the first thing you need to do is open up a web browser. And I would highly recommend for, for usability purposes to either use Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome as the web browser when you're accessing this website. You can use Internet Explorer, but students uh, in the past have had difficulty um, with some bugs and various workability issues using Internet Explorer. And I personally wouldn't recommend its use. Um, by all means, you can try it, but uh, you're doing so at your own risk. So either Firefox or Google Chrome. Another thing that I would highly suggest is that you access this on either a laptop computer or a desktop computer. Right now, the Evolve system is not very stable on mobile platforms such as a smartphone or a tablet. Um, you are more than willing again to try to use it on a, on a tablet, but you might lose some of the functionality. Uh, my suggestion is to use a computer or a laptop. You have access to Allen College's computer lab 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All you need is your student badge to access the computer lab. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a web browser. I'm a Google, Google Chrome fan, so that's what, what I'm going to use. But the URL that you need to enter into the web browser is http colon forward slash forward slash slash evolve.elsevier.com e-v-o-l-v-e dot e-l-s-e-v-i-e-r dot com. I already have the web browser or the web page open and this will be the first screen that you're going to see. And at the very top there's a couple little uh, attention marks here. Um, pay attention to this stuff. This is usually server maintenance, scheduled maintenance on the server, and sometimes it'll tell you that Evolve won't be available during specified hours. Usually it's late at night, you know, um, like between like midnight and 6 a.m. in the morning that they do these things. But just be aware that if you're up against a deadline, there might be some maintenance issues. So be, be aware of the timing. So you can remove these just by clicking remove. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is log into the Evolve website. And to do that, at the very top right corner, there's a login button. So go ahead and click on login, and it's going to give you the option to put your username and password in. Now, your username and password have been distributed to you already. So check your email. Dr. Furch has emailed your username and password. So the very first thing that I want you to do is to make sure that that username and password works. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with mine. You can click on the Remember Me box, but uh, I would not do that if you're going to be using a shared computer like in the computer lab. If this is your own personal computer, you can go ahead and click on that. So let's go ahead and click Log In. Now, if you like, you can go ahead and pause this video and make sure that you can get logged in. If you cannot get logged in, email me the um, or your course instructor, and I'll give you my contact information at the very end of this video. Okay, once you're logged in, it's going to bring up your course screen. And, and you can see that this blue My Evolve tab is highlighted here in the top left. Now, mine is going to look a little bit different because I'm an instructor and I have multiple courses, but for you, you have to be registered for a course. Now, I know that Dr. Furch has already registered you for your August courses, so you should see your course, <clears throat> excuse me, show up on this list. If you do not see your course on this list, you have to get the course ID from your course instructor and then go back to basically the main Evolve website. And then here in the bottom right, click on this online courses and it's going to, let's change this to, no, that's right. 
mine looks a little bit different because here it says get students into your course from your side of things it's going to say find my instructor's course so you can go ahead and click on that and it's going to ask you for the course ID now your instructor has to provide you with that course ID if they don't um, you're not going to be able to get access to the course but for your August courses you should have access to that so let's go back to the my vault tab at the top left and again let's you know hopefully your course shows up now to get access to the course and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to demonstrate this but when you when you read when you um, bought your books you should have purchased an online access code so the first thing you're going to have to do is redeem that access code so you should just be able to click on your course and it's going to ask you to redeem your access code if you have any difficulties with that at all again let me know or let your course instructor know so we can get that addressed as soon as possible i'm going to show you just real quickly here a little bit of the functionality of the online courses don't pay attention to this this is one of our spring courses i actually just got done teaching this so it's it's a fresh course so your your course will be different than this you'll you'll actually take this course next spring but we'll go ahead and investigate it just so you can see what's going on so when you click on your course and i'm going to change this here to student view so this will be what you see so the first thing you get is sort of the uh the dashboard for the course that you're in so um, this one is the sectional anatomy learning system over on the left hand side here we have multiple menu tabs we have a course home grades course calendar course home resources and the course itself so course home by clicking on the it takes you right back to the screen so if you start navigating around and if you want to come back to this main screen just click on the course home this was my particular course and the next thing you can do is click on your grades now obviously here we're not going to see any grades entered uh, because this is you know this course is actually over but as you go through the course your instructor actually constructs this grade book so there's going to be quizzes for this particular course there was there were module quizzes there were module exams the workbook etc as you complete them you're going to see the points awarded out of the points possible and it's going to give you what your score is and then what the class average score is so that's that's the great feature this is a great way to keep track of what you have going on with your course the course calendar this is something I personally didn't use it but you can set due dates the instructor can set due dates um, and it just gives you a better idea of the calendar let's again click back to course home And we're going to spend most of our time over here in this course content area. Now there's two things in the course content, resources and the course itself. So let's go ahead and click on resources. And, and you can go through this on your own. You, you should have access to this at any time. But you can click on this before you begin. Answers to student questions from the text. Um, web links, you name it. All of this is in the resources. But to get to the course itself, we're going to want to click on this course button over here in the bottom left and <clears throat> excuse me when you click on that any of your assignments will show up with this sort of this blue folder tab here you can click on the course orientation it's going to tell you how to uh, navigate through the course There are surveys in here, acknowledgments. You typically don't have to worry about that. But the course itself are, is broken up into modules. And how these modules are delivered to you, it's going to be dependent upon your instructor. Some of them open them up on a week-to-week -week basis. Some of them open them up uh, all at once. And it really, you just have to pay attention to your course syllabus and the instructor's um, instructions for how to navigate through the course. So here module one is available for us so I'm going to go ahead and click on this and when you do that it's going to bring up all of the contents in that folder so there are there's a, a module one activities there's a module one media we'll go ahead and click on that um, 
there's some animations, so you can click on these. It's going to walk through some animations. So that's just an example of an animation. Course activities. Um, review of terminology, you can click on this. Um, we'll just sort of click and drag stuff. I'm just clicking and dragging. You can do this. When you get it right, it makes a nice little noise for you. Um, sometimes these are graded, sometimes they're not. Again, it just depends upon your instructor. Pay attention to what the instructor tells you. So let's go back to module one. And you're going to spend most of the time in this actual module here. So when you click on a module, this is pretty intuitive for you to be able to work through it. It's broken up into sections, and then you have this um, little drop-down menu here that you can hide or show all of the subcontents within that section. What you can do, if you don't want to mess with the subcontents, is just start clicking on the next button, either here at the top right of the window or the bottom right of the window. So we can click on that, and basically, really, it's going to be your responsibility to read through this material. Um, you read through it, you can click on next, um, there's key terms, you can go back and review this stuff over and over again. It really just sort of depends upon, uh, you know, how quickly you want to go through things. It's going to give you course objectives or the module objectives. Um, there are images. You know, again, more images you can click to enlarge if you want to make it bigger. Uh, so it just here it's just giving you an overview of the anatomy, and and that's pretty much it. Um, once you're done with the courses, and because this course is actually closed, I don't have them open. But at the end of each section, I have the students take a quiz. So so over here at the very left hand side of the screen there's going to be a module one quiz and quizzes, sometimes there's multiple quizzes for each section, and then there's a module exam. And, and again, follow your instructors, uh, the material that they post in the syllabus as far as what you need to do, what's graded, is it a quiz, is it a, uh, an exam, and, and go from there. So really that, that's what you need to know. Uh, just remember, you can always navigate over here on the left-hand side of the screen by clicking on the course. Uh, it takes you all the way back to the beginning. You can start and stop this at your own pace. You don't have to go through with this all at once. You can read through section one, come back and do section two, come back and do section three. It's just however works with your learning style. Uh, one of the things I would highly, highly suggest is get and develop good habits now. Um, you'll have me for an instructor next spring and I can tell you every single year I have students that if I give you a week to complete an assignment um, I have students literally doing the work up until about 10 minutes before the deadline of the assignment. Get in the habit, start you know working efficiently Put time aside and, and don't procrastinate. That's that's the best advice I can give you for success in this program is don't procrastinate. If you continue to, to procrastinate, it will catch up with you. When you're done, you can go ahead and log out up at the top right. And if you're on a shared computer, I would go ahead and just close that window out. Um, if you have any questions, here is my contact information. It's jared.seliger at allencollege.edu. Or you can call my office, 319-226-2081. Email is the best way to get a hold of me. Um, I wish you all the best this semester. And if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask, whether it's your instructor, whether it's Dr. Perch, whether it's myself. 
uh, if we can't answer it for you, we'll get somebody that can help you out. So I wish you well. Thank you. Thank you.